David Benscotter and E.J. Brandt are on the hunt. It might be here. Let's stop right here. Let's stop right here. Okay, let's, uh, can you take the GPS coordinates right here? The target? Old apple trees. What we're trying to do is recover apples that uh, uh, in the last hundred or so years have been lost or thought to be extinct. There were once at least 17,000 named apple varieties in North America. Trees planted by homesteaders who relied on them to survive. Now, less than one quarter of those remain. Experts call the missing ones lost apples. But some of these lost apples are still growing. It's finding them that's the challenge. We obtained a ledger book from a relative of a uh, nurseryman who was in Whitman County in the uh, late 1800s. And in that ledger book uh, were a number of receipts. Pairing names on receipts with old property maps, E.J. Brandt tracked down a lost variety called the Reg Mallard at the edge of a wheat field in Troy, Idaho. The last known instance of this apple was in 1901. With old-fashioned detective work and a lot of shoe leather. I don't think this one has been totally identified. The retired FBI agent and the avid historian have found 13 lost varieties. There's all, all fruit trees all up in here. But it's a race against time as aging trees are dying or being cut down before they can be preserved. That preservation work takes place here, nearly 400 miles away in Malala, Oregon. That's where botanists at the Temperate Orchard that Conservancy analyze favorite. apples shipped to them from across the West. You never know what this variety is going to offer. Okay, does this survive this disease? Uh, is this tough enough to survive a hard winter? When a lost variety is found, the apple detectives return to the field and take wood cuttings from the aging tree to clone it and ultimately preserve it forever. I don't want it lost in time. I want to give back to the people so that they can enjoy what our forefathers mm. did. For these apple detectives, each tree a piece of living history, holding stories from the past, Hi, baby. How are you doing? and a promise for the future. Gillian Flaccus, Associated Press.